What's good guys, I'm Simeon Panda and welcome to my channel. So I got a message just the other day asking how I'm getting on with barbell squats since my injury, which happened a while back. The guy recently suffered an injury to his lower back and he can't squat right now and he wants to know how I'm getting on with mine. For those of you that don't know, I had an injury with squats over two years ago. I was squatting a very heavy weight and I'll show you the clip. I was on an uneven floor and as I came up, the bar leaned to one side, I felt something go in my lower back. I completed the rep, but after I put it down, my back was in bits and I was in pain. It took a long time for that pain to go. I think I herniated a disc as I tilted to the side, something slipped and it caused me excruciating pain. I'm fine now, I don't have the injury. However, I still haven't gone back to barbell squats simply because I feel that my lower back is temperamental and I just don't want to risk it. Hey guys, hitting you with this quick intermission to shout out the sponsors of this video, Honey. No, not that Honey, this Honey. It's a free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically tests them when you're checking out. Here I am shopping at Vitacost.com, the online marketplace for all things healthy living, including organic foods, protein snacks, supplements, personal care products, they have it all. We tried to buy everything organic, so I really love the wide selection of top organic brands like Simply Organic. Since I already have honey on my MacBook, it pops up in the corner and all I have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds while honey does its thing, it adds the coupons and you save. Honey is perfect for Viacost's huge Black Friday sale, which has already begun and runs through to the end of the month. It's simple, if you have a computer, Honey should be on it. It will come in great during Viacost's Black Friday sale, where you can stock up on nearly 40,000 natural, organic, eco-friendly and affordable products. Plus, it works on over a ton of other websites that you already shop on, from activewear, to home decor and tech. Get Honey free today by going to joinhoney.com forward slash Simeon. Thank you, Honey, for sponsoring this video. Let's this go. This video is going to show you how I've replaced barbell squats with belt squats to effectively target my quads. And I'm going to show you the different variations you can do, how they work your quads, and also let you know the benefits of doing belt squats over barbell squats if you too are suffering from a lower back injury or just want an alternative to barbell squats. They say necessity is the mother of invention and the belt squat is no different. After suffering a back injury in the mid 70s and being unable to barbell squat, a gentleman called Louis Simmons found an ingenious way to complete the movement without hurting his back. And thus, the belt squat was born. Today, I'll be demonstrating using a more modern variety of the belt squat. This is the Pure Craft Belt Squat from Gym 80. So firstly, what is the biggest difference between barbell squats and belt squats? With a barbell back squat, the weight rests on your shoulders which places a lot of pressure on your spine. The most significant difference is that with the belt squat, it allows you to work your quads and increase your lower body strength without loading your spine. For someone with issues with their discs or with their lower back or with their shoulders, this is magic. By pretty much omitting the upper body from the movement, it's less stressful on your spine while still providing you with the balance and stability and the benefits of a traditional barbell squat. What muscles does the belt squat target? Similar to the barbell squats, belt squats target your quads, hamstrings, and to a less degree, your glutes. With extremely less activation on your trunk and removing the pressure from your spine, you can put all the focus on your lower body and perform the exercise with impeccable form. With less activation of your glutes and with belt squats being less taxing on your hamstrings, you can really target and build those quads. And one of the most important benefits to me and many others in my situation is that there's much less risk of injury. You can overload the lower body with confidence knowing that you aren't putting yourself or your lower back at risk of injury. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna show you how to use the belt squat. But before I do that, I'm gonna warm up with some leg kicks. Okay, so using the belt squat, you need one of these. This is the actual belt. And the funny thing is, no matter what belt squat you use, these things are always tough, tough, tough on the skin. You know, so um, they, they have to be durable. So they have to be made of this material. Um, but it's something that you're gonna have to get used to. So if you ever try the belt squat and you wrap it around and you think, oh, this is just too rough for me. This is too, you know, this, it tugs on me. You'll get used to it, you know, you'll be fine. It's not gonna rip you apart, but you just have to get used to it. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get the hook connected here. You're gonna make sure that it's comfortable and in the right position. So you have the adjustable straps here. I'm not sure what belt squat you're using, but I'm sure all of the actual belt attachments will have some sort of adjustment to make it comfortable for your waist so that it can hang where it's supposed to. 
So with the belt squat, there's different varieties. This one comes with hand assistance. So there are positions where you can place your hands to get assistance and almost make it like a Hatfield squat. Other belt squats may have no where to grip onto and it's simply just gonna be the attachment. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna choose one of these holes to put it in to make sure that it lines up perfectly with your, your limbs, your height. I normally choose the one right at the end, like that. So guys, when you're doing this for the first time, don't put any weight on. We need to find the right position for our feet. We need to make sure that we've chosen the right um, hole to put the, uh, the hook in and just get our position and our squat form perfect before we start doing a working set. So, as I said, for me, I use the one right at the end. Come up. Now, there's different ways to do this and um, they're all pretty much effective. It's just gonna be a, uh, you playing around with which one you enjoy most and which one you feel targets your quads most, if that's what you're working towards. So right now, that's a nice uh, feet position for me. My feet are slightly turned outwards and I, and I find that when I come down, that is a great position for my knees and my whole alignment. So hand assisted would go something like this. So hold up in here and you can just drop down. Oh, what I love about the belt squat is you can really get the depth. Like look at that, look at that position right there. And up. Like that. So the other thing that you can do is not hold on. And you can also almost do it like a prisoner, prisoner squat. So I don't know if you've ever done a prisoner squat, that's hands on your head and you drop down. And that is all quads. No assistance from the upper body whatsoever. What I really love about this belt squat compared to many others is the fact that you do have the flat base, but then they also have this raised base as well, which gives you a fluid motion that's almost like a pendulum squat. You tuck in and that just feels amazing. And yes, if you're doing it this way, you really do have to hold on because of the angle that it puts you at. So that's pretty much how you use it. I'm gonna now do a full working set because it is my legs day. And um, guys, if you have any comments on it, put it in the bottom. If I can answer any questions on the belt squat, uh, let me know. But like I said, if you have a lower back injury, this is perfect for you. Or if you have issues with your shoulders, if your shoulders are tight, or if you just don't like barbell squatting. I've always, like in all my videos when I've talked about squatting, I've always said, if you can, you should. You know, barbell squats used to be my favorite exercise, still is, just a shame I can't uh, do it like I used to, but it is a beautiful exercise. But this is a great alternative. So for, for a lot of you, if you've seen this in the gym and you haven't tried it, watch this video, get a, 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 an idea of how to use it and jump on it. It is a great machine, absolutely great machine. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. 